Hello to all the memes and bubbles, let us continue where we left off the last time. And if you are new here and don't know what this is about, we are trying to achieve the following three achievements. And now let's continue. At the moment we are waiting for the duplicants to finish the first part of the build. Now we can place on some bottle emptiers to submerge the buildings in different kind of liquids. Here on the electric grill we can set the horrible horrible mush bars to mush dry. That also increases the calories from 800 to 1050 calories. But it is still terrible. And over at Nisbet's place she finally has produced enough material, so she built the material study terminal. And because that thing is powered with red bolts, we need to place down one red bolt generator in the near vicinity of the Wiese wards. And in the main base our electrolyzer broke, because the pump finally picked up the salt water. For now I'm solving the electrolyzer problem by placing the pump further to the right. There's still salt water in the pipes, but we can live with that. Okay, I think the dupes are finished as far as they should. Let's see, set this to salt water, copy this over. Oh, salt water and enable auto bottling, copy this over and then stop the dupes from dropping too much. This is crucial, so better save. There we do have a dupe. Now we play the stop game, non-contents. 200 kilograms, okay, this is way too much. Let's see, they dropped down one kilogram. That was probably too much. 1.4 kilogram per tile, that is nice, because everything below 2 kilograms per tile is fine. So what am I doing right here? We are trying to get below 2 kilograms of liquid per tile in here. Salt water is the heavier liquid and water is the lighter liquid, so the salt water will be on the bottom and the water will be on the top. If we have more than 0.07 of any liquid, the liquid will not be deleted from the gas produced. If we have more than 2 kilogram of liquid, the liquid will stop the machine from working. So we need the tiny space in between that we can work with. So let's see, maybe we leave that, fill the other two and then activate the clean water to drop it on top. Devon, welcome to the base. And Devon even got his own schedule. I skipped the part where the dupes were taken forever to bring over the water bottles, as well as the stop and go game with dropping the water down on top of the salt water. But rest assured, every tile probably should have less than 2 kilograms of liquid in it. And now in order to make this a proper spawn, a self-powered oxygen machine or module, however you want to call it, we need some hydrogen generators for the power production. The hydrogen generators will be fed by the gas pump that is placed underneath them, the hydrogen will be pumped up and piped through some spaghetti pipes behind the generators that help cool them down. Normally I would go with the radiant gas pipes, but we do not have access to that yet. So I'm just using the regular granite gas pipes that also have a high thermal conductivity compared to the normal pipes. Ah damn it! I forgot the automation. We can prepare the automation wire for now. Like so and then do the research. So let's go for the improved ventilation. No, stop it with the duplicants, we do have too much of them. Gosman, welcome to the base and your priorities will be researching. Gosman, advanced researching. Welcome Gosman to the base and you already got a new schedule and everything else that you need. This is a mess. Dupes, what are you doing? Okay, this has been closed off, so I guess we can activate this, but therefore we will need power. For the power, I just placed on manual generators and I probably need to hook them up to a large battery. The function of the gas vent here is to get rid of all the gases that are in this chamber. At the moment this is mostly carbon dioxide and a little bit of chlorine. And those gas pumps will get rid of the carbon dioxide in here. We can just use the atmo sensor that is in there. Normally I would set it to above 2, but now we can set it to any value that allows the pumps to activate. There we go, finally, nice. The dupes are running on the thread mill and filling the battery and the gas pumps using up the power to suck the room dry of gases and making them vacuums. But honestly, the dupes don't produce enough power to keep up with the gas pumps. So this could take a while. 
And here I am back again guys. For me it has been a couple of days. So take a look at this mess. The dupes spilled water all over the place. Ruined our toilets. Well peed on the floor down here. Dropped some water and well debris. So now in order to get that thing running, the duplicants have to run on the manual generator a lot. This is wasting a lot of time, so maybe we can use the power from the hydrogen to spare the duplicants a little bit of work time on the manual generator. For that we can just place down a gas pump right here, suck up the hydrogen, place it in a hydrogen generator that we find under the power tab, place the hydrogen generator around there, connect everything up with a simple cable, run it downwards, don't connect it yet. And probably place down a couple of batteries to store the energy better. Like this. Also we need a ladder here. And of course we can't forget about the ventilation pipes. Just connect it like this. Then I'm going to make this a high priority. The cable the second highest priority. And wait for the dupes. Even though we don't have the red bolts yet, we still can pre-research the first two tiers for our superheated forging. So we get access to the glass forge. Let's see, the blueprint gave us an animal loving duplicant, but can't dig. Well, that is suicidal in this game, but Ashkan, welcome to the place anyways. Finally, that didn't take forever. Now we can hook this up and this should work. The hydrogen is being sucked up, placed in the hydrogen generator where it is burnt and will produce 800 watts of power, so we can cancel our dupes running on the thread mills. Ape, you can stop now. This is wasting time and you don't have to run any longer. We can disable the building and disable the other building. These two are already disabled because, let's see, change to the gas overlay, we have a perfect vacuum in there. So now we can probably hook it up to our water. Let's expand the pipe downwards and not connect this up for now, but wait for the duplicates to finish this. Nice, this has been finished, so we can finally hook this up, I guess. Let's check this first again. Set this to above 1.5 kilograms and this to above 2 kilograms. Then hook up the pipe here and hook up the pipe down there. Then speed up the game and let's see how this works. The water is being pumped into our system and if we check the gas overlay now, we have the vacuum at the moment. And now it filtered itself perfectly. Super nice. Let's check our gas pipes on top, connect those up and cut those right there. So if the hydrogen reaches the level that we put in here, 1.5 kilogram, the system will start and we can take it from our grid and this thing will produce power. Now in order to automate this, we need a smart battery and we need refined metal for the smart battery. So let's go to the rock crusher and place an order for 4 aluminum ore to aluminum. And while we are up here, the hatch here got trapped in the door, so we can open that. And of course guys, you were right, this room is only 3 tiles high, not 4 tiles. So in order for the hatch to not jump over the door, we would need a tile here. But then this room is too small, so we will need to make this 4 tiles high. And now the hatch is being groomed. Nice. Because the power from the battery was not enough to fill this up with a high enough gas pressure to start our system, I'm going to set this to below for a short time. Okay, now it is enough. Gas being filled in. First hydrogen generator is running. The second will be running soon. There it is. And now it should be self-powered. Now we could probably take it from the grid or use that thing to produce power for our grid. And I'm going to do the second one. So I'm gonna expand the big heavy watt wire to here. Cut the wire right there, deconstruct the manual generator and place down one of those transformer thingies. Like so. As you can see the system is running but has no stop function. We are gonna put that in right now. Smart battery, aluminum ore, place it right here and then we need a little bit of automation. I did not place the cable down so let's do that now. Okay we don't have enough material for that. Every time. More aluminum to aluminum ore. The dupes are still in the hydrogen atmosphere but slowly and steadily the gas pump 
is siphoning that off and burning it in the hydrogen generator. It doesn't really matter that there is the wrong gases sometimes because I already disabled the auto repair on the generator. Now that we have enough material we can place down the automation cable and then automate that process. We are going to set the smart battery to let's see 90 and 70. So every time the smart battery reaches the low threshold of 70 the generators will turn on and fill the battery up to 90% again. There we go, now it is automated, we are not burning unnecessary fuel and we still have battery. Our system is being powered, but we do need to take the batteries off the grid. Because we can't have batteries on both sides of the power transformers, that is not good. So we could place a couple of batteries right here, connect them up with a cable and use this for another system or maybe just for our food production up here. So we could cut the cable like this. Then the system should work fine and none of these cables should be overloaded. Maybe this one slightly. Let's go to the electric grill. We can make omelets. Why do we have raw egg dupes? Don't let the eggs go to waste. We need them. <laughs> Okay, let's at least produce the omelette so we don't waste them. Okay, now that we do have enough power left over, we can place down another one of those incubators. Game, could you just let me grab this? Okay, we don't have enough refined metal. Ah, this again. Meanwhile, while the incubators are not running, we can place down the gas pipes for our oxygen for the base. We have 12 duplicants on this planetoid at the moment, so we need at least 1.2 kilograms a second. This is one pipe and a little bit of a second pipe. So let's run this like so and probably just drop the oxygen here. We can deconstruct the two electrolyzers and then get the next pipe and run it further up. And I'm probably gonna stop it right here so the duplicants don't have to work in the hydrogen atmosphere. This should be fine for the beginning. Now the dupes only need access to that with a couple of ladder tiles. And then I made a little bit of space for the metal refinery. So we can produce metal more efficiently. And we do have a lot of water to cool that thing down. And we also do have the power to power that thing. But we don't have aluminum ore anymore. Look what is printing! We got hatchling eggs! Three! Nice! We definitely want them and we do need them. And I still don't have the metal for the incubators. This is infuriating. Metal ore can be found here. Also this tile as well as down here in the base. We just need to dig up a few tiles, place on a couple of ladders so the duplicants have access to everything. After collecting enough aluminum ore, we finally have the material to place down the pump, the cables and for the pipes we didn't need any specific materials. And because that thing is finally built, we can set the aluminum ore to aluminum for 10 very efficient orders. So instead of needing 20 orders and wasting half the material, we get 100 kilograms of aluminum for every 100 kilograms of aluminum ore used. Let's make it 12 orders, that's 1.2 tons. Back on the top of our base, I prepared two more ranches. We are going to take this hatch here and place it in the four tile high room. Because now I place the tile on top of the door so that the hatch can't jump over it like in the other rooms. The other two rooms will be used for the pips because the pips can climb on the walls anyways. There's also an arbor tree in there so the pip has something to eat. In the lower two ranges we can place down one storage bin each, fill them with arbor acorns, drop them down and wait for the pips to plant them as arbor trees which they use as food. But since not all tiles are natural tiles, the pip only has the right part of the ranch to plant those seeds down. The pips down here are cramped, meaning there are too many critters in there or too many critter eggs, yeah that is the case, so we need to remove them out of the farm. And for that it would be very helpful if we have more incubators. I also figured out where the raw egg was coming from because I placed the pip eggs in the storage bin before. And if you place critter eggs inside of storage bins instead of them lying on the floor they will not incubate but break down and leave raw egg behind. I should have known that because I used that technique in the last let's play. So let's set this to pip eggs, collect them with a high priority and then hope that we have enough material for more incubators. Just for one, okay. But it's a start.
Now that the dupes finally finished this, we can set this to hatchling eggs, incubate forever and probably the same here because we want more hatches than pips because hatches produce double, seriously double the meat, also double the calories of course. Continuous incubate hatchling eggs and then let's drop the pip eggs that they may be incubated on the floor. Our oxygen system by the way works perfectly. I did not deconstruct the gas vents so so if this is overpressured with around 2 kilograms of gas per tile, the gas will flow past the first vents, then the oxygen will get pumped further than that. The first pipe will end here and the second pipe will end up there. If the gas pressure ever reaches 2 kilograms, no more gas can be pressed through the vents. Now if we take a look at this, we already have 161 kilograms of oxygen per tile in here. So no Rodriguez. And this here already has 20 kilograms of hydrogen. So we have two infinite storages included in the system, which makes it very handy. And it produces enough power to handle itself, to power our metal refinery, to fill up a couple of batteries and uh, whatever we have in here, uh, research stations. The oxygen production helped us press the hydrogen further up into the base. I just figured out whether the solenator is in the research tab. It's here and we only need to research a little bit. Because the dupes are idle a lot, I let them produce all the storage bins right here. So I can set those to a low priority of one, sweep only, and all and then I can give them sweeping orders with a very low priority like here. Here we are back at our incubators again. I increased the egg production by placing down two more incubators and set them to hatchling eggs forever as you can see here. And I placed down an automation wire with a cycle sensor so we are not using up power all the time. But it is very important that you set it to a high priority that this is the first thing that the duplicants will do if they have the chance to do so. So all the eggs get the lullaby bonus. As you can see here this is lullaby, this is lullaby and this is just being lullaby. And this is the most important thing because that is the thing that gives the egg the bonus of incubating faster. So we can set the cycle sensor to, I don't know, like 20%. In this quick time lapse, I'm just making a lot of dupes ranchers too. So we have a good arsenal of rancher dupes. <laughs> also, if you may have seen, I increased on our toilets. And because we didn't have enough mess tables for all the dupes, I added two more mess tables and wanted to close off the room. So this stays a mess hall. But take a look at this, at the moment we do have a great hole, so we are cancelling the door. It is a great hole because we have plants in it and they count as a decor item, that is super awesome. Over at Nisbet's place the food situation is not very good. We are at zero calories and at the moment Nisbet is running low on water, so we need to place down another pitcher pump and Nisbet has enough dirt to produce more of the mush bars. Nice, on the main planetoid you can see that the dupes have so less things to do that they even clean up the floors. And they do that really fast, we got a sparkle streaker in there who is speeding up all the other duplicants and giving them a boost. I almost forgot we already researched the desalinator and because I pressed record at the wrong time I need to explain this again. So the desalinator sits on top of a couple of metal tiles and the metal tiles are connected to the salt water. The salt water is cooling down the metal tiles i.e. calling down the desalinator because that thing can get really hot. The desalinator is getting the water from this pump, is cleaning it out, pumping it through this pipe right here and is feeding it onto the main line which is feeding the electrolyzers. And that makes the giant pool with the salt water our main water source for the electrolyzers now. Meaning we can cut this here and don't have to use up the water that we need for our food production. And after we connected that thing up to our power system, dug everything out, placed on the metal tiles as well as the salinator, we do have a pretty solid water management system. Let's welcome Harold to the base. Well look at this, we got a small little hatchling and it is being transported up. Bubbles, you're too fast. Thank you, Bubbles. I just found another Pip. Pip, what are you doing there? How did that happen? Don't do that again. I decided to place down another incubator so that our Pip production will get a little bit of a boost because we still have seven eggs left. There we go. Pip. Oh, we have Stone Hatchling. Nice. Okay, Stone Hatchling has the priority. There we go. Yes. Yes, nice, awesome. Now we can get the pip eggs incubated and hope for the best. 
If this isn't cute, I don't know. Look at those. And if you're wondering what the dupes are doing, they are collecting stuff that is lying on the floor. I'm cleaning up the base. At the moment I'm trying to catch the critters in this ranch down here because they laid another two eggs and now they are cramped again. So I'm going to wrangle them up and just place them in the new ranges up here. They already planted two arbor trees, very nice. And now they dropped the next seed. Now we can deconstruct this because more than three will not fit in there. Nisbet got a small digging order as you can see, so she finally has something to do. The pips up here already laid a new egg, so the ranching system is functioning very well. And the critters are being groomed, the dupes have something to do, but we still have not eaten a single piece of meat. So we need to increase that until cycle 100. Oh, I missed a very important thing, our kilocalories are down to zero again. The reason for that is because this is no longer powered. That is not a situation that should happen, so let's connect that up again and make this grid a little bit better. I want to place another power transformer right next to the first one, but therefore we have to deconstruct the ration box and place it somewhere else. Maybe we place it in the great hall. Right here. Omelets. Very fitting. That's what we need right now. Come on guys, just deconstruct this. Thank you. Now we can place down the next power transformer, reroute this cable up here, deconstruct those cables and hook this up like so. Cut this. But this has to be done very fast. The heck? Okay, I deconstructed too much. We don't want our pips escaping. Oh, we just got the locavore! How? We just got the locavore achievement. Let's go to the summary. There it is! And yeah, a lot of other stuff. You done yet, game? Okay. We got locavore. So our duplicates consumed 400,000 calories of food without planting seeds. Well, mush bars. <laughs> <laughs> one achievement done. With one achievement done, this could be the perfect time to end this episode for today. Thank you so much for watching and supporting this Let's Play series with all your likes. Love you guys. And for those who want to see more of my Let's Plays, I'm gonna put a playlist right here on the screen. 